The battles in the aviation industry have shown that without change and innovation, anyone can end up with a fate similar to that of McDonnell Douglas. And as a new strong factor like Ultrafan emerges that potentially combines with an aerospace giant to create a breakthrough, there's growing concern that the rest could fall into that same trap as Douglas once was. Which combination will be launched, who will shine, and who will fail? How will it reshape and change the aviation industry? Let's find out. So, first of all, how impressive is the Ultrafan engine that could determine the fate of an aerospace giant? The Ultrafan project is named after its unmistakable highlight, the massive fan. This defining feature comes from a unique geared transmission system that allows the fan to rotate slower than the rest of the engine. This separation of rotational speeds optimizes engine efficiency and reduces drag, enhancing cooling and minimizing component wear. This approach is not entirely unique. It has been successfully implemented in other engine families like the Pratt and Whitney PW1000 and is expected to be featured in the future CFM RISE system, demonstrating its feasibility and potential. So how does it perform in the context of increasing power demands? This is an interesting scenario. In such a context, Two main options are considered, accelerating the same volume of air at a higher speed or moving a larger volume of air at the same speed. For passenger aircraft, pushing more air at the same speed has proven to be more efficient as it generates greater thrust without requiring excessively high rotational speeds. This explains why the Ultrafan prototype features a fan diameter of 140 inches, which is 3.56 meters, about 6 inches, larger than the massive GE9X engine that powers the Boeing 777X. The larger fan design not only improves efficiency, but also enhances the engine's operational capability under extreme conditions. Additionally, a comparison of thrust levels highlights notable differences between modern engine systems. While the Boeing 777X's engine delivers around 110,000 pounds of takeoff thrust, the initial Ultrafan prototype has been tested at approximately 85,000 pounds, already exceeding its original design limit of 80,000 pounds. Rolls-Royce asserts that this engine can be scaled up to 110,000 pounds, enabling applications ranging from high-capacity aircraft like the 777X to single-aisle designs requiring around 25,000 pounds of thrust. However, Questions remain about whether a 110 000 pound version would require an even larger fan, posing a new engineering challenge for Rolls-Royce's design team. Another critical aspect of the project is demonstrating the gearbox's ability to handle enormous power levels at an entirely new scale. The first geared systems, developed in the 1960, were primarily designed for smaller engines suited for commercial and military aircraft. With the Ultrafan, Rolls-Royce is venturing into uncharted territory, requiring breakthroughs in load capacity and durability. At the same time, the company is actively researching and developing advanced materials such as ceramic matrix composites, which are not only lighter, but also more heat resistant, enhancing both engine efficiency and lifespan. In summary, Rolls-Royce's Ultrafan project is not just a technological breakthrough, but also a testament to the company's relentless spirit of innovation in the aviation industry. With these advancements, Rolls-Royce aims to enhance the longevity of existing engines and shape the future of aviation with more sustainable and efficient solutions. Although the Ultrafan is about 25% more efficient than the earliest versions of the Trent series, and even improves fuel efficiency by 10% compared to the Trent XWB engine on the Airbus A350, its future remains uncertain due to several challenges. It cannot be applied to any aircraft yet. For Boeing, the adoption of Ultrafan faces significant hurdles as the company continues to deal with internal issues and the aftermath of the MAX crisis. Despite Rolls-Royce demonstrating this engine's potential in enhancing engine efficiency, fuel savings, and thrust output, these promises seem distant as Dave Calhoun has stated that the company will not launch a brand new aircraft project before the end of the decade. This reduces the likelihood of Boeing integrating it into its future programs, even though the technology is expected to drive major advancements in fuel efficiency and performance for wide-body aircraft. Meanwhile, Airbus is also not immune to its own set of challenges. The A350, launched in 2015, is still relatively new and has a large backlog of orders. 
Integrating the Ultrafan, which offers about a 10% improvement in performance compared to the current Trent XWB engine uh, into the latest rumored version of the aircraft, the A350neo, could cause significant disruptions to the delivery schedule. Customers who are already committed to waiting for the A350 with established delivery timelines would face potential delays directly impacting cash flow and Airbus's short-term financial credibility. Thus, even though the engine promises significant improvements in operating costs, range, and payload capacity, its launch timing does not align with Airbus's current strategic situation. However, the opportunity for Ultrafan is just around the corner. Clearly, Boeing's position is currently lagging behind. Although Airbus has decisively surpassed the U.S. company, the manufacturer still finds itself unsatisfied with its wide-body aircraft lineup. This presents a perfect opportunity for Ultrafan to step up and shine. But why? First, the 777-300ER has been working tirelessly and has earned Boeing a solid reputation for safety throughout the 2010-S. Some major customers like Emirates have eagerly sought to replace these aircraft with the newer 777X but have to extend their service for a few more years with the old 777. Meanwhile, the rest have opted for other replacements. A 350, for instance. Why? Well, delays with the 777X, alongside Boeing's slower-than-expected production rates for the 787, have been major factors. As mentioned, some airlines have chosen the A350 as their replacement, but for demanding customers like Emirates, the A351000 simply doesn't cut it. Emirates is a major customer, the largest operator of the old 777, and Airbus wants to steal this customer away from the rival. This is where Ultrafan comes in, an opportunity for both Ultrafan and Airbus to win over this challenging clientele. Secondly, Airbus hasn't truly triumphed over Boeing in the wide-body aircraft segment. This ties directly to the point we just discussed. The A350 has struggled to match up to Boeing's wide-body offerings. Despite its impressive features, a 350 sales have yet to rival the success of the 777, and even more so when compared to the 777X in terms of performance and passenger experience. We're not even talking about sales figures yet, since the 7X hasn't been certified, but it has already seen a remarkably strong order book, with the Dash 9 surpassing the A350-1000. If you still have doubts, consider this. Even if your A350's experience may be superior, the success of an aircraft lies in its sales figures, not in the hearts of its fans. Let's look at the numbers, and it's clear that the leadership at Airbus won't be thrilled seeing the rival continue to outperform them. From the 747, 777, 787, to the upcoming 777X, the US manufacturer has built a legacy of wide-body success. It's hard to deny that Airbus has dominated the narrow-body market, but the wide-body segment is still Boeing's turf. So, how will Airbus fix this? How can they sell more wide-body aircraft in the years to come? The answer lies in the potential launch of a new A350neo, possibly equipped with the groundbreaking Ultrafan engine, and that would change the game entirely. Tim Clark, the president of Emirates, has been vocal in his criticism of the A350-1000's engine, vowing that Emirates won't place any orders for the aircraft until Airbus and Rolls-Royce address the issues. Despite already operating the Variant 900, they've held off on the 1000 variant. But with a new A350neo featuring the revolutionary Ultrafan engine, Emirates will likely opt for this fantastic aircraft instead of waiting indefinitely for the uncertain 777X. Today, the economic comparison between the Boeing 777X and Airbus A350-1000, the largest variants of their respective families, is relatively close. However, with an additional 10% efficiency boost, the scales would undoubtedly tip in Airbus's favor. This trend will also apply to smaller variants of the A350 when compared to Boeing's larger 787 models. We need to consider the possibility. What if Boeing also wanted to collaborate with Ultrafan? First and foremost, as mentioned earlier, according to Dave Calhoun, the former CEO of Boeing, the company has made it clear that it will not develop or release any new aircraft for at least the end of this decade. This statement reflects the internal struggles and lingering consequences of the 737 MAX crisis, which has left the company with considerable hesitations about incorporating breakthrough technologies like Ultrafan into its future projects. 
The company must first focus on resolving the ongoing issues with its current models, particularly the 737 MAX and the slow production pace of the 787. This cautious approach stems from the deep challenges Boeing faces internally, including the need to stabilize its operations, rebuild customer trust, and address the widespread disruptions caused by the MAX crisis. The company cannot afford to divert its attention toward untested and complex new technologies until it has fully regained its footing. The integration of Ultrafan, while undoubtedly an exciting prospect, would require careful planning and testing, especially given the potential for further delays in an already congested development timeline. Moreover, Boeing's position in the industry has shifted significantly in recent years. Once an unchallenged leader in the wide-body segment, it is now locked in fierce competition with Airbus, which has steadily gained ground with the success of its A350 family. The U.S. aircraft maker's focus, for now, is on meeting current demand and ensuring the quality and reliability of its existing product lineup. For Ultrafan to enter the equation, this company would need to ensure that it's not just the technology that's cutting edge, but also that it aligns with their broader strategic goals, and that will take time. As for the possibility of integrating Ultrafan into a future Boeing aircraft, the company would need to take a careful and measured approach. The next generation of aircraft, whether a 777X variant or a new 737, would have to undergo extensive design and testing to accommodate the sophisticated engine technology, which could impact both costs and timelines. Boeing's cautious stance on adopting Ultrafan is understandable given these multiple factors. It's about preserving operational stability and focusing on getting things right before pushing forward with new, high-risk innovations. Secondly, it's all about money. With the 7X still nowhere near entering service and the likelihood of it carrying passengers not before mid-2026, Boeing simply has too many other priorities to even think about offering a second engine option for the aircraft anytime soon. And let's face it, if it somehow manages to afford this, they'll be in an even more difficult commercial position compared to Airbus, especially when considering the upcoming A350neo, which is expected to be launched in the near future. And here's the significant thing. At least with both the old and new A350, Airbus can confidently rely on Rolls-Royce engines. But with the 7X, can you imagine how General Electric would feel if Boeing even considered providing a brand new Rolls-Royce engine option to their customers before the 7X even enters service? Let's just say they wouldn't be too annoyed about it. But Boeing has to learn to accept it. The reality is, if Airbus and Rolls-Royce truly build the A350neo, it won't be able to do much in response, at least not for the next decade, given the continuous list of unresolved issues that everyone's well aware of and, frankly, we don't need to rehash them. Now, we can be sure that if the Airbus A350neo becomes a reality as it stands, it could truly be a decisive blow to Boeing. So, what do you think? Can we expect an A350neo ultrafan? Leave your comments below. Thank you for watching and wish you always have safe flights always.